It's basically what we call strung hackles. Strung hackles, which are basically they're long. These are longish hackles, which have been sewn together, or strung together, as we would call it. And as you see, this these are obviously white, and I've been washing them. It's very important that you wash them before you dye them. And as well, I've got some badger hackles. Now these hackles are ideal for, well I normally use them for salmon flies and for traditional wet flies. And you'll probably see me tying with these a wee bit later. Now once they're wa washed and all the, I mean, I like to wash them in Johnston's baby shampoo, uh, which makes the feathers much softer than using fairy liquid, but fairy liquid would do. It's just to get the grease, any dirt that's in the feathers out and then they're, they're ready to dye. Now, you don't need to let them dry before you dye them. All you do is go straight into the dyeing process. Now you can take out the excess water if you want. As long as the water, water's right through the feathers, then the dye can get straight into it. And that's them um, ready to go. Now I'm going to take this to the side. And then bring over, which is just an old frying pan, an old pan that I've had for many years. And all I'm going to do is bring it to the boil. And then bring it to the boil, I'm going to put the dye in. And there's two dyes I'm going to be using. A fluorescent yellow and then a fluorescent red. That's the mix for sunburst. Now I'm just going to dry my hands before I touch pot of dye because it does go everywhere. If you can use a pair of gloves, uh, marigolds or something, whatever. What I'm going to do here is this a teaspoon. Now I'll, in the feathers I'm going to put at least half a teaspoonful of the fluorescent yellow dye first. And then mix, mix the dye and allow it basically to warm and melt the dye before we put the feathers in. Now as you can see it's starting to come to the boil and it's starting to really heat up and all the fluorescent dye or the fluorescent yellow dye has melted. What I'm going to do now is add in the feathers. Now you open them up. Now these are really wet so it should take the dye extremely quick. Just open the feathers up and put them in. And get your, I've got two spoons, one for the dye and one for basically moving the feathers around. If you can see that, the dye is straight into the feathers. And you keep moving them around, allowing the dye to get right in so that it's nice and strong. It starts to boil. What I'll do then is add the fluorescent red, but you've got to be, be careful with the fluorescent red. And you don't add too much. Um, you can buy the sunburst dye straight from a company, but this is, as far as I believe, is the original way, and the way I like to dye it, and you'll see that the feathers come out really well. And it's just starting to come to boil, and I'm going to switch it down, get my teaspoon again. As you can see, the colour's really going into the, the feathers. Tiny bit of dye, even though it's too much. It's all just trial and error when it comes to dyeing feathers. Now, I usually pick an area where it's a wee bit quieter and then quickly run the dye through. And you see that laundry colour? Now, what we've got to do is set the colour with dye uh, with some vinegar. But we've got to keep an eye and make sure that the dye is working its way into these feathers. Just keep them moving around. Now when you see the colour starting to come, now you've got to make sure that the dye is working, it's working its way into these feathers. It's important that they move around. If you remember, change to the larger spoon, it'll save your fingers getting a bit warm. Now you see the colour starting, that's fine. Get some 
It's normal vinegar. This is where it really stinks the house out. Just add it in. That should be plenty. So there we wait. And then allow basically to heat back up. And you'll see the colour of the dye at the back here. This orangey colour. That there will start to soak into the feathers. Depending on how strong you really want it, I mean, I, I feel that's sitting just now ideal. But it's important that you do bring it to the boil, that sets the colour. And once this is done, you've got to rinse them. Rinse them in cold water. Get all the dye, excess dye out, it's very important that you do that, because you don't want it over your fingers. Nothing worse than getting buying a cape or whatever, and the dye goes all over your fingers. They just haven't had, they just haven't washed them out. So anyway, that's that ready to go. Now all we've got to do is rinse them out and dry them. And here we are. And as you can see, especially with the white. That nice strong sunburst colour, everybody likes. It will get slightly lighter than that when it dries, but that's it. That's the colour you're looking for. Now once we've taken them out of the, the, the dye and taken most of the, the water out, what I like to do, especially on the strong hackles, I don't mind giving them a quick dry and just use your hair dryer, or the wife's hair dryer anyway, just don't tell her. And then just slightly open the feathers out, and these will dry really quick. Uh, the wettest area will be down around the, the fluff at the bottom, but the feathers dry extremely quick. Just open them out. This will give you an idea what they're going to look like. You can use them straight away, that's the badger. Now these feathers came from vineyards, they're strong hackles, so any company that buys the vineyard products or actually has them in the shop should be able to get you some strong hackles. This will take long. You see, it's just opening out. You see, the sunburst colour is really nice. 